Hello, today's routine is going to work on your quads and hips and we're looking to improve hip extension. For this you need a foam roller and then you're also going to need a box or wall to lean against. So we're going to start off by loosening off the quads before moving on to the box and working on some stretches there, okay? So we're going to take the foam roller, we're going to be looking to aim, you know, the sort of midsection of the quad here, we're going to work across that area there. So you can sort of move around a little bit, find the areas that are a little bit sort of less sensitive, you know, more sensitive for you and work on them areas. So we're starting off Put the leg on the roller, just find a spot, like I said, that's quite sensitive. And what we're going to do, we're going to start off with a contract and relax method. So for around one minute, we're going to be breathing in. We're going to squeeze the quad. Hold that for around three to five seconds. And then you're going to slowly breathe out and slowly relax off, okay? I'm going to repeat that again in that same area. Contract. Nice big squeeze into the quad there. Relax. And what we can do then is you can either move slightly more to the outside here, or you can move more in, on the inside here or up and down. So just find a new area. Again, go for that. Contract. Good. And obviously look for the more sensitive areas. The quad's quite a big muscle. Just try and hit it all in like one minute. If you need to do extra, that's absolutely fine. So you're going to come across a little bit more sort of into the middle there now so look kind of don't need to come all the way to your adductor but or the inside of your leg you just want to spend a little bit of time sort of the inside of your quad there good i'm going to move up just slightly do one more contract and relax off so next up then we're going to do what's called a pressure wave so we've got, I'll show you from this angle, it'll be easier to see from there. But essentially what we're doing is we're starting off on here like there, just leaning on the side. We're going to work across the grain and the muscle where we've just been to, okay? So again, we just go there, we're going to do around 30 seconds in that. And then what we're going to do is add in a little bit of movement towards the end. So we're just going across the muscle. I'd probably suggest, you know, going across the areas that you've just desensitized, because otherwise it can be quite sensitive kind of cry across the muscles here. You can still be sensitive even after you've just sort of worked and loosened them off a little bit so if you need to if you get to a certain spot and it just feels you can't really go over it you might need to go back to that contract and relax method before then attempting to sort of run over it again okay so we just run over there what we're going to do now just spin back around so and then we're going to go leg onto the onto here get the, some pressure in for 30 seconds we're just going to bring your heel to your butt into there okay so you've got pressure into the quad from the roller we're just working through any of that sort of stiffness here. I'm just trying to bring your heel to your butt there, okay? Just coming back and forth. That's good. Again, we're just going to do another 10 seconds now. So you've basically done one minute sort of desensitizing the area, loosen off the muscle, a minute just pressure waving, running over that area, and then we're just doing a little bit of flossing just to add a little bit of movement in, okay? Good, so we're going to go on to the other side now. So again, one minute. Get the quad onto there, breathe in, contract the muscle, hold for that for around three to five seconds, breathe out, relax off. You should feel, you know, the muscle relax, sink a little bit deeper in, breathe in again, contract, relax there. Come slightly to the outside, contract. Relax off, good. Do one more there. Good. Coming to the inside now. Good, just do another 10 seconds on that inside of that leg. Contract. So, okay, now we've done that. We're going to do that pressure wave again. So, like I said before, we're coming from the outside, start leaning the side here, working from the outside, and we're coming inwards there. Okay, so working in, back over the muscle there, and across. And, like I said, if it feels too sensitive, just go back to you know that contract and relax method. What you might find now as you're coming through here, you go slow, you'll work through some knots, you might feel like a little bit of a some knots coming out, I feel like a sort of slight popping or a sort of bubble wrap type feeling. So there and across. And that's exactly what you want, you know, you just want to be working any knots out. You want the area to sort of be 
not so sensitive that you can't work across there and you can actually address anything that's in there. And again, just going for that flossing now, 30 seconds, just into there, leaning in, come down with your hands if you need to, heel to butt, back down. Good. Just try and make sure you're always breathing this. If this hurts too much, you know, just try and find a new area. Maybe work above or below an area that's really sensitive. That can sometimes feed some slack into that, that really sensitive area. And coming on to there, okay? So we're just doing another five seconds now. Two and one. Good. Relax there. So what we're going to do now then, we're going to spend just a little bit of time in what's called the couch stretch. So we're starting off, we've got one position. It's quite nice and simple. The, you know, the shin runs vertical to the box. And we bring this front knee forward here, okay? So you bring that front knee forward until there's a straight line from your shoulder to your hips. So you can just bring your hand down there just to feel if your hips in extension. If it's up here a little bit, you know, just keep trying to work the knee forward, keep trying to push that hip there. We're gonna hold that now for around 30 seconds. We'll try another position after. We do the same thing, we breathe in. We squeeze our glute, we squeeze our quad. Nice big squeeze through there, through here and here. And then we just breathe out. And maybe try and, you know, bring the knee a little bit further forward. Bring the chest a little bit more upright. Squeeze. Relax there, good. One more, contract. And relax. Now, if you can't get up into this second position, just stick to where we are now. What we're gonna do is bring that back, come onto there now, bring that hip forward. And again, we're just gonna hold that for another 30 seconds. So breathe in, contract. So again, your hip should be extended. Relax there, good. But like I said, if you can't get in this position, just stick with where we was. The main, most important thing is this hip is in extension. If it's back here like this, you're not really getting the full benefit of the stretch. So we just want to make sure that we're in that area. Contract. Relax, good, just three more seconds. If you want, you can spend another 30 seconds just coming up to position. If you're happy with that, just come back down to there. And like I said, you can stick to that position. So we're going to go to the opposite side now. So, shin vertical. So, as you can see, this knee comes forward, and that way that means I've got that straight line coming from my hip straight through up to, no, from my knee up to my shoulder, okay? I'm gonna spend 30 seconds there, first of all. Contract, so squeezing the glutes, you know, squeezing the quad and the glute. Relax as you do. Maybe bring that knee a little bit more forward. Contract. Relax, you could try and bring your chest up a little more forward next time. We're just basically trying to take it a little bit further each time we contract and relax. Contract. And relax, like I said, you can bring that back to there, into there. That's the second position. We'll just bring that hip forward again. Contract. And relax there, good. And we could start, you know, you can start coming into that more upright position if you if you want to. Contract. Good. Good. And if you want to now, just come up to that position and just hold that for another 30 seconds. If you're happy with what you've done there, or you can only just get down to that next position, just keep trying to work into getting the hip into extension there, okay? So what you should find now, you know, the hips, you know, just putting the knee behind your hip, behind your hip is going to be a lot easier. So anything sort of like running, lunging, should all feel a little bit better once you've loosened off that area. 